Hello Church, this is Mario Bolivar from Skinia Las Presbyterian Church. Thank you for watching. Today is day 20 of our Lent study called Meeting Jesus by Jody Craiglow. And today we meet Jairus. You can find Jairus in the Gospel of Luke chapter 8 starting at verse 40. If you read the lesson that we have in the study guide, you will read that they present Jairus as a impatient man who is in a hurry but the text the biblical text and this is why it's so important to read them while you read the story only says in verse 41 just then there came a man named Jairus a leader of the synagogue he fell at Jesus feet and begged him to come to his house for he had only one daughter about 12 years old who was dying that is the only thing that we know about Jairus until he shows up in verse 49 where it says while he was still speaking talking about Jesus someone came from the leader's house to say your daughter is dead do not trouble the teacher any longer then again in verse 52 they were all weeping and wailing for her but he said do not weep for she's not dead but sleeping and they, we don't know if Jairus is included here, but the text says in verse 53, and they laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. In the story meeting Jesus, we can assume that Jairus is freaking out. He's impatient. He has a daughter whom he loves. He is a leader of the synagogue. So he is a powerful man that goes to a stranger and lays down to his feet and begs him to go home. We can assume that he's impatient because he had heard that Jesus has the power to heal his daughter. Yet Jesus stops in the way there to talk to another woman, which is the bleeding woman. He doesn't know and he does not want to understand why Jesus stops to talk to another person where his daughter is a priority. It's a life or death situation. Yet Jesus moves forward. And in here for Len, I want you to learn one thing. If anything, as Christians, we need to work in our patience. We are not patient believers. We want things right away, and we want God to keep up to our schedule. We can, and we do good at avoiding being impatient with God. May you, during this season of Lent, work on your patience. I believe it will help for you to see the blessings that God has bestowed upon you. Thank you for doing this Lent study with us. Until next time, be blessed.